When was the last time you gave God some real thanks, some real praise, some real worship, where you truly expressed gratitude and where you allowed your body, your mind and your soul to be so positive towards him? When was the last time you did that? Oh, you don't remember, huh? <laughs> you don't remember, huh? But I bet you can remember all the times you asked God for something, right? I bet you can remember that. So let's get it together, okay? Over the next three days, what I would like for you all to do, you come across this video, if you already follow me or you come across um, this video on your FYP, this is the first time you are seeing my face. Give God the next three days. Your next three days, you are going to be giving God praise, worship, thanks. You are going to express gratitude. And on top of that, you are going to be positive, you are going to be positive. Every time a negative thought comes in your mind, you are going to cast it down. You are going to command it to leave out of you. You're going to command it to go into the abyss in the mighty name of Jesus. You're going to command it to go back into the kingdom of darkness. You're going to cast down every negative thought that is not of God. The enemy cannot stand a positive Christian. The enemy cannot stand a Christian who is going through hell and back and still pushing forward. The enemy cannot stand a Christian that when he sends them negative thoughts, and try to make them seem like they're out of their mind going crazy. And when they're still able to say, you know what? These thoughts are not of God. I'm going to cast these down. I'm going to switch these out immediately. I know the God that I serve. I know the God, is, the God that I serve is faithful. He's worthy of my praise. He's worthy of my thanks. And he's worthy of me remaining positive in the mighty name of Jesus. The devil cannot stand that. He hates it. One thing the devil will do to us Christians is mess with our minds. The mind is a powerful thing and the enemy knows if he gets a hold of your mind, he got your mind, he then has your body, then he has your spirit as well as your soul. But if he can't get up here, if there is no way for him to get up here, he don't got nothing. So over these next three days, I want you to go into prayer and I want you to ask God to renew your mind, your body and your soul from the crowns of your head to the soles of your, seat, your feet. Excuse me. I want you to ask God to remove any confusion out of your mind, to remove all mental fog out of your mind. I want you to cast down every negative thought that tries to come your way. The enemy, if you if you know that while you're trying to be positive, the enemy is trying to beat you down. I need you to fight. I need you to put on some gospel music, put on some prayer. Go watch one of my videos. Go look for a prayer on my page. I need you to immediately cast down those thoughts. And I need you to immediately to switch it and flip it away from anything that is negative, okay? And if you find that you're having a hard time casting down the thoughts of the enemy or casting down negativity, if you find that you are in a constant state of mental fog and confusion, book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. See uh, my bio for more information or let me know in the comments section if you're interested and I will get the information uh, to you to book a call with me. And give God praise for the next three days. Give God praise. Give God your worship. Give God your gratitude. Express how much you love him and how you trust him and how you have faith in him. In the mighty name of Jesus, give God three days.